If you really want to see some sad robots, check out the original Transformers movie from back in the 80s, man. That shit got real heavy. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. But right now, we are going to discuss this EP called Sad Robot, which comes to us from Ricky Anthony. Now, Ricky is an artist from out of L.A., and he's worked with some names you might recognize, including Quentin Miller, Hit Boy, and Alan Kingdom, who was actually featured on the song Switch. So, seeing that he's worked with some of these big names, I went into this expecting a certain level of quality, and he definitely came through, because this is not one of those indie projects where I have to talk about how the mixing and mastering needs work, or anything like that. It all sounds right, and it has a very polished and professional feel to it. Now, as for the sound you're going to get, you're going to get a lot of synth production, and these beats are very wavy, ethereal, and atmospheric. There's a lot of build-ups and breakdowns, so I thought the production on this was pretty dope, and it's definitely enjoyable, especially if you want some late-night vibes and some music just to kick back with and kind of think. This is also one of those auto-crooning projects, and even though I'm not really big on that style because everybody seems to be doing it, whether they're in the major leagues or just somebody who's coming up because I reviewed a lot of indie guys who are doing this as well, I still think this is one of the better auto croon projects that I've heard in a while. So I want to talk about the two songs on here that I like best before I move ahead into some of the other things I didn't care for too much. Now the first one I like is On This Night. It has that dark and wavy feel that just makes you want to drive out by yourself at night, but you don't want to fall asleep at the wheel, as he alludes to on this track. And what I like about this one is just how smooth it is. There's this one part where he says skirt with this cool vocal effect on. It just has a very unique sound to it, and it's catchy. So this song had a lot of good things about it, and I really hope he makes a video for it, because I think it would do well as a single. And my other favorite song from this one actually does have a video for it. It's called Ghost. And once again, we're getting some dark vibes, some late night shit you can drive around with. Very smooth. And on here, he's kind of dealing with loneliness. It's a bit of a loner's anthem as he's talking about people who have turned their backs on him, but he figures they'll come back once he gets some success. So you are going to get some darker themes throughout this project. And that makes it stick out from some of the other autotune shit out there because it's not just about bottles, bitches, money, thuggin', etc. And Ricky actually goes kind of deep on some of these songs, including on the opening track, Manic, where he's just dealing with substance abuse and he wants to move away from the pills and stop medicating. So I appreciate that level of honesty, and I like that while he's talking about drugs on this, he's not really glorifying it or trying to make it cool or say you should try it. He's kind of talking about the struggles that he's had with it, and you're going to hear that topic on some of these other songs as well. So you are getting these themes of despair, sort of a little bit of depression and darkness throughout these songs, so that really helps it stick out, and it's one of the things that I enjoyed about it, just the overall theme and feel of this EP. But one thing I didn't really care for too much is some of the features, because the features didn't stick out or add a whole lot to this project. Like I said, you got Alan Kingdom on Switch, but he just drops a couple of vocals, which to me sounded a little bit off. Maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think, but I didn't really care for it. And you're also going to get Brick Grillins on the song Demons, but he didn't really add too much because he's just doing auto-tuning, and that made him kind of blend into the track and not stick out too much. I think it would have helped to have some features on here that had a bit more of a contrast, maybe just one or two of them, a rap verse or maybe some singing that was a little bit stronger from someone else, just something to mix this project up a little bit because at times it does seem a little bit flat and generic, like on the song Red Lights, which has a bit of a more poppy mainstream feel to it, just a little bit, but it is a very generic song. There wasn't much of that one that I cared for, so that was one of my least favorites. And Overall, I give this a 3 out of 5. I'm not going to go higher. I think next time around, I'd like to hear some different shit from Ricky, man. Just a little bit of variation tied in. I do appreciate the cohesion here, and I get the idea of a sad robot, because when you listen to this man, he sounds like a sad robot. He's got those thick auto-tune vocals on. He's singing about some of these sad ideas and thoughts. So that was a cool idea for the project. It's cohesive. I enjoy that. But a little bit more variation would have went a long way as far as making this one stick out from all the other auto-tuning and shit we have going on in the game right now, but I still recommend you guys check it out. It is a pretty dope EP, and then hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts. You also want to be sure you like my videos, you share them, follow me on Twitter, retweet them, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.